Hello guys, Mask Monster here. No, uh, oh, I almost did 35. No face cam today because it's too damn hot. Um, I just, I'm, I'm physically feeling comfortable with the Sharon right now, so. Unless you want to stare at my nipples in the dark, then, um, yeah, you're not getting it. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, anyways, um, so, I, uh, so, the YouTuber by the name of Silf, Silfen, Silfen, um, did, we watched a bunch of his videos before they even, they even came out on a live stream, um, just got huge insight in the new card system, um, turns out all your materials, whoa, 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 what's happening here, this leg's weird, it's a little bit leggier than normal. Um, all of them, all of your only thing that's gonna be left is uh, loot crates and chests, but it's not gonna be these chests, and not gonna, and they're not gonna be card packs. So um, chests are gonna contain card packs and, um, and card, no cards. They're gonna take cards and uh, I forget what else, but you'll you'll get um, for however how much I don't know how much best of it. Depending on how many cards, card packs, materials, and other things you have, um, it will give you legacy uh, chests, um, boxes, crates. Um, so uh, if, I'm gonna go on talking about some community things that I've noticed. Um, but uh, someone in chat, I didn't hear someone said this himself, but uh, someone in chat said uh, just open them all up. That it might be better if you didn't have everything unlocked to kind of just open them all up. Um, so I, I guess, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming because I already have a good majority of the cards unlocked, they're going to give me a good majority of the cards. Holy crap, I'm trying to find my things. It's a little bit more laggy than usual. Maybe my computer, like I said, probably slowly dying. Um, I do have a new CPU, just need an operating system, and I need to figure out how to get it in there. But, so we're to start opening these up, and then I'll talk about the update and what I've learned and what I can remember. All right. Nothing new. Some of these are gonna be random cards, by the way. Uh, like single packs. Nothing new. been hoarding these things. Nothing new. Nothing new. You know that I don't have nearly every card in the game. I'm actually missing a fair amount. I have like all the reds, like all the greens, I think. I don't even know the greens. I have all the blues or something. Nothing weird with that. These legs are unbearable for me, so I'm I beg your pardon. Um, nothing new, or I had to into magic. I crafted a lot of my universal cards um, just to get them basic manas. You know, I, it's funny doing this now. I can never get one cost cards. Like a few of them already have that. Mana gems. Earthen mesh. As long as my game just crash, I'll be fine. Okay, I'll open up one by one, I won't like. They're a hydro server, that's good. Okay, that doesn't change anything. Oh god. Let's go to mana. Second guard. Nothing good. Do you think after all this I hit something new? A lot of it's just gonna be like a shell boost or something, whatever that thing is. I forget what it's called. There's that thing that cucks and burst, a burst cleanse or something when you take damage. I really don't have that one. I don't have a few of the others. The universal. I guess, I guess rigged, but I have like 31, no, I have like 24, realistically thinking, no, 
over exaggerating to be dramatic. I, uh, I got like, I like 23 or 24. I don't need any more mad stones. I'm not gonna do a, a whole 100% mad stone deck. You'd have to be mad. Ah! Ah! Gain the elixir! Don't have that. The next 15 seconds, to go eight manager and initiates her 12. I don't receive any ability damage. Yeah. That's actually not bad. Um, especially if you're going up against an enemy gadget. Or anyone would take a... Or an enemy mortgage. Single power cord. I forget where I got these random cards from. Just Dire Pierce. I'm gonna laugh one because that's a new thing in it. The only thing I would have seen is like as new cards go, I think. I don't even know why you all there, just open it up right away. You know, just rip the bandit off. Show me some shit I don't need. Right away, like I just kill you. I've gotten a few of those in the past. So all in all, not bad, not good. Um, let's see. Store Masteries. Jesus, bad. Um, try to look who I have for Masteries for that. I got this one for free. Um, I found the Serog Mastery, which is funny because I like Serog. Um, I'd love to get the East course as a preparation for, uh, for the update, but no. I think I'm going to get the Narbash Mastery. It's between Narbash and Shimbi. I feel like I'd play Narbash more, so I'm get that Mastery. So I don't know when this, uh... Oh, um, profile. Card. 375 is on the same. One there. And the rest are all in. Literally the only one I have left. So I figured... That bitch will craft every single card. You have one of each, they're gonna say, okay, you've already unlocked every single card, and maybe that gives me a bonus. Maybe I'm dicking myself by using the, uh, the things. I don't know. Um, I'm seeing a few corruption as well. It's being targeted. Dead fast, because why not? The tree seems to be still there. I don't know, that's gotta be a, a thing. Actually, I kinda wanted to use Dead Fast Rally. Six seconds on him with ability apply 12.5. Life cracks enemy target for four seconds. Huh. Funny thing about this. I feel like it'd be really good on Quan. Cause they just double stack with his uh the other thing to come down. They ship up there up to five seconds, just saying. Basic tag target shield trick point percent of their armor for six seconds. The current on this wish to basic damage. Wraith Whisperer. I never know this one. Ability Bend Quit. Huh. Interesting. Let's get this. I don't know why those people are there. 
Emperor Fainer. I like it. It's got the other ones on there too. It's how bad this is running right now. It's kind of funny. It's really funny that it only recommends heal for base. It's not like, you know, you could be running a jungler without any some sustain or an offlaner. No, base is the only one that needs a life of death ever. Just cheap little. Cards that complete more in this side, I guess. Cause that's what I'm going for. Can't even do high range. These are these are the ones I wanted too. Thermal blonde, blonde, whatever. So I guess we craft either one or both the same thing. One of them. Now, it might be a bad idea to use my reputation on this. Now that I think about it. But I figured, it's the, I don't know if this just calculates everything. But I figured the more cards I have, the less cards I have not unlocked, the better. I still have, you know, a healthy amount of some of this stuff, so. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Um, it's enough for the all making things and stuff. Um, I don't know. Let's uh, just. Oh, screen? Yeah, it's like a quad here. Um, so I noticed a few things in the community. Let's kind of wrap it up the video. Um, I noticed a few things in the community. First of all, um, the uh, the community seems in complete chaos and disarray over this new update. You've both seen YouTubers videos who had early access like Sylphin and like I've seen another one like maybe Arscurs or something. I've, I've watched a few Paragon videos, you know. Um, no, no, no build videos though, I don't really like build videos. Um, I'll make my own, but uh, I don't really like watching build videos because I like, I like making my own without any other people's input um so yeah but um yeah so like there's a lot of people freaking out um this team stasis that's been uh, going around i think there's an image leak of it or someone who worked in the car art showed it off on the paragon mobile facebook page which is basically the community gathering and facebook um People are flipping their shit about this card. Like, oh, Gideon's useless because you can just team stasis or whatever. I don't know how exactly how the card works, but I can guarantee you if there's gonna be something in, like a team stasis, it's not gonna have too good stat buffing abilities. Um, one thing I noticed when uh, when like y'all throw over the cards in Sylvan's videos is uh, is that. There are a ton of things that increase damage to one of his opponents in one of his matches. Well, I was another Grim at EXE, was literally using a card that gave him 100 power. Power is very hard to come by. That, that was a 7,000 gold card. You bought it, you equipped it, and if you died, you fucking lost it. Now, I don't, I don't know, I need to tell you guys how easy it is to die in this game. Um, a card that only gives you. 100 power now you might be able to shred through every enemy in your path with that but all it takes is a focus you know some pokes of a gideon rock out of your range and like a few an ultimate um, a morgash you know i think a few urns on you and you could lose that card and you lost that dollar with the gold um 7, gold uh in this new system it's equivalent to uh seven 
I want to call them perk points, but that's not what they are. You have three attributes, intelligence, agility, and vitality. And uh, you put the thousand gold in there, you get a little chip thing, um, and then that, uh, once you get a certain amount of things into that, you will unlock a gem if you have one equipped for that slot. Um, and then you use them kind of like you use card points. Um, except you they're spent specifically, it's like a, it's like a magic together, you can tap blue mana for a blue card, you gotta tap so many blue mana and so many black mana, uh, if any of you guys are magic players, uh, you'll know who I'm referring to, but that's how the new, uh, kind of card system works, and then you can re-equip and equip cards as you go, there's cards that get reduced costs, but anyways, my point is, they're freaking out about, there's so much other things, you know, I'll back, back to what I was talking about, there's so much other things you can put in your three card slots and a team stasis. I mean, come on, just do a void Gideon ult. Someone else said that there's a card in there that Gideon can run that you can ult or drop rocks twice. Um, yeah, as funny as her dropping rocks twice sounds, two Gideon ults. Um, I actually wouldn't really like that. If I was a Gideon player, I said, okay, I'm gonna ult not once but twice. I mean, I know his chain pull thing's kind of been increased if you get them in the center, but uh, chances are that first, that second one isn't going to be nearly as strong. And hell, he might have kill you before you finish it. Just because Skitin is standing still in the sky and almost everyone can hit him. Even melee characters could probably jump up and hit him if they felt the need to. But um, I don't know about the second part, but I know for a fact, at least currently, as of when I heard, I heard first heard about it, that there was still this team stasis going on. Um, someone in the community really pointed out, um, besides me, that yeah, you only have three card slots, and there's way better stuff you put. Someone else also pointed out that uh, that you activate this, and the team can move up on you. Ow. Damn it! Um, the team, the the other team can move up on you. Um, and stuff, uh, and then just kill you all, uh, which is another fine point uh, to be made. Uh, one thing I noticed when I when my short time of using stasis is it was well, I did use it a lot to block Morgus elves. Uh, um, I'm doing hand motions right now, even though you can't see me. Uh, Countess elves, uh, Gideon elves. Um, it's just as easy for people to use and abuse the 2.5 however seconds of stasis to just, you know, sit there and then focus fire um, if your teammates aren't around and you use stasis gem and you get caught in all and the enemy team's there. As are your teammates not gonna dive in and save you. Um, I, I just really see and there's so much we don't know. I don't know why people are getting their jimmies wrestled over this. Yes, your game, your beloved games, our beloved, our beloved games about the change. Um, but it's gonna be so much better once you get used to it, and just and once they pick, work out all the balances. I, I have no doubt in my mind. There's gonna be broken stuff, day one, overpowered things. They've already have no. There's we already know there's overpowered stuff and stuff that's not working properly because of this early testing that these guys are doing. Um, so. They're gonna get that fixed, hopefully, most of it, before, you know, this uh, update comes out. Um, chances are they won't, they probably won't release it unless they have almost all the bugs, uh, almost all the major balance issues solved. Because uh, the last thing they want to do is release a whole new thing and then just have it be completely broken because there's an unstoppable set of cards that everyone can use. And speaking about everyone can use, decks are universal. I mean, come on, when I heard decks are universal, I was like in chat, I was like, oh really, decks are universal, I can make one deck for three of my heroes, and someone literally replied, I'm like, he, he replied, oh, if you're a genius, you can make one deck fit with 32 heroes, now I'm like, no, no, I mean, sure, you could use it for every single hero, if you really wanted to, oh, but are you really getting what it needs, um, I think, yeah, you still pick two affinities, and then those affinities have certain uh, 
the perk points that you get unlock with the a thousand stuff is different from uh, the two affinities you pick. That's another thing I should mention. Um, just because you pick two affinities, uh, you you might want to pick cards. Uh, I noticed that you have an unlimited economy. Um, that's something you can mind too. Um, so you could get as many uh, perk points as you want. Um, and then you can have as many high cost cards as you want, but to actually get them all and uh, be using them uh, might take a while. Yeah, um, I couldn't tell how many cards were in a deck, but it looked like there was actually going to be somewhere around the 15, um, or probably even 15, because uh, it looked about that much when I saw the decks and make the gameplay videos and stuff. Um, I just bored sitting here watching me talk. But I mean, I'm interested in well, one of the things about the community I noticed. Um, overall saltiness. There's a general salt in that Paragon MOBA community. I try to fight it as much as I can. But that's about it. I mean, like guys, give this up to a chance. Let it, let it flow through you. Give it a chance when it comes out, you know. Don't instantly go to the internet and be like, Oh, my reference broken now. Um, a lot of people in the chat when I was watch watching Silphon's live stream were like, What's, What about Revenant? What about Revenant? What about Revenant? They were like, Revenant, I main Revenant. I play Revenant all the time. What well, happened to him? A lot of people were asked about other heroes, but uh, Revenant was a hot topic. And uh, I feel like Revenant was this really popular hero because he was so overpowered and there's people that are still really good with him um, who learned him when he wasn't overpowered when he was overpowered and just kind of learned to play a little bit differently. Uh, Ruben's a great hero, I just don't like him. I hate him. I hate trying to play as him. It's, uh, it's not my cup of tea. But um, yeah, a lot of people were concerned about their heroes taking a nose dive in this update and I don't think they're going to touch I mean it is worth getting a block but other than that other than that and if you uh, I saw someone posted that uh actually Richter was going to get a huge health buff since they're up the most starting health or something uh which is absolutely necessary because Richter is kind of like a support kind of mid laner thing um something else uh so I uh, so let's finish what I was thinking before so he's kind of a support but he couldn't really do too much he had a little health I think they're increasing his health in this update, which was nice. Um, maybe they'll decrease his uh, his initial uh, pull mana, or maybe just give him a slight increase in the amount of mana he gets in the beginning. Uh, one thing I hate most about playing Richter is to get one pull, maybe two in the beginning, and then I'm completely broke on mana. And I either A, have to back, or B, get, uh, get a river buff, or just, you know, sit there. Uh, which is what the support is supposed to do, but still it's annoying. And even if I hit the poles, you know, it's not guaranteed I get a kill. Um, or help my carry get a kill. Um, but, uh, saying, I'm just going to do something else that's all on the live stream. I talked about, discussed, uh, which is what we're doing in the live stream. Oh, yes, I asked. Selfin directly, and of course he responded. Um, he's really good at responding to questions if you ask really good questions to respond to them. Um, something that has already been answered uh, or isn't as obvious to what, what that was in the live stream. Um, I asked him if uh, support here, if other heroes that were kind of not really strong supports could be stronger supports. Um, and he said, uh, he said, he gave a pretty positive answer um, on that one, which makes me happy because I like backup decks. I, I, I think you guys have seen a few backup decks of mine. I like backup decks. I don't care if you don't like race support. He's got a, he's got a rewind ability that can earn new kills to keep you safe, and he can poke the enemy, uh, enemy uh, offlaner. Um, so people can say, Revenant, uh, Wraith, steals kills with this whole snipe thing, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, I know I'll play support, but, um, other heroes, like, 
I mean, maybe the rampage just has a rock. Um, maybe they have different things to uh, slow him down. He didn't go into specifically what they had, but uh, he did also say there was a. I did ask him about a team heal, and he said there was a. There was some sort of team heal. I forget, like I said, I'm going off what I can remember here, and so there's gonna be some sort of team heal card. Uh, I think he said it was cheap as well because I asked him if it was cheap, and he said yes. I, th I believe. Like I said, memory of getting late, um, I'm, and, but I'm going off what I can remember here. Um, trying to actually have a few questions that I got responses with. Um, just because I had a, there's some things that not everyone's worried about what's happening in the video. I'm thinking about, I'm listening and then I'm thinking about what, well, what else is there. Um, can't really remember anything right now, but uh, if you guys haven't played Paragon, you should pick it up um, now. Actually, uh, this, there's going to be a, a huge advantage to the people who were playing before, um, just in the term of mastery. Which, in the end, don't want really to matter that much, I don't think. Um, but the mastery rewards, oh boy, those looked really sexy. And I'm talking about like every time you go through a mastery. And you you pay the every time you go through mastery and then you pay more coins to get the next level you're getting more and more rewards out. He was going over Muriel. He's a Muriel main, uh, Sylvan is, and uh, shit. The they give you like one specific card every couple of ranks or something like that. Um, like he said, like level eight. I think he said it was like he gave you 36 of one card. Now. If you're thinking, well, why you need more cards? There's going to be a PVE mode, and you can rank up your cards. Um, I'm hoping you can do that for free. You don't have to spend reputation, just because mastery is going to be so expensive. Uh, but just sorry, you'll have to spend reputation to rank up the cards. Uh, but this PVE mode, that and they haven't really talked about it, but you know the cards obviously say you can rank up, but you'll know, use vanilla stuff. Um, it's also looking like card art might evolve um, because I read one of the cards that said um, you, you'll keep your level one, you know, things when you're PVP, but in, but in, uh, but in PVP your your card art will transfer over. Like something along the card will say the same. Um, you'll have to keep your card art. So I'm assuming maybe the cards, will, maybe that border will change on the card and it'll look cooler. Maybe it'll add a shine texture to it. When it hits a certain level, I am not, I'm not sure, but that's what I oh, that's what I noticed. What I don't think anyone really pointed out and wasn't really talked about. Um, but uh, yeah, just do some search on YouTube. Uh, like I said, on live stream there was a lot of stuff we talked about and went over that he hadn't even uploaded yet. But uh, I think he said there's 700 hours of videos he's he's gonna upload. Um, maybe that's the time he put into it, but. Uh, yeah, the uh, it's gonna be ridiculous. Um, and the other YouTubers, of course, as well. Um, me, I, uh, I pretty much excluded me because yeah, sorry. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to do much with the uh, with the whole current living situation. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, a lot of stuff to be excited for, guys. Just keep your uh, keep your pitchforks down and. Keep the flames to a low roar, and uh, and we'll make it through this. We'll make it through this together.